the next is the wireless setup the first one is the wireless mode if you want to use the super g mode this is apply only if you have a, a teros device or a teros adapter in your laptop but leave it default and these are the channel you have to select 1 6 or 11 these are the uh, what you call this one the SSID and you can uh, put multiple SSID just select one and edit and you can change the SSID and the VLAN ID if you have a VLAN in your office you can use this one and put security select what you want security if you're using it for home only WPSK may do or if you want to mix select it and input the passphrase you can see 8 characters 263 just input the password then apply the next one is the Mac filtering if you want to add additional security to your device you can go to this Mac filtering and select the device deny Mac you have to input the MAC address that are denied or if you want to create allow only MAC address you have to input the MAC address here then add then click apply you have to double check the MAC address of the laptop WDS settings the set, this setting is it's a bridging or one access point maybe one to four from the root of the access point it will broadcast you have to select this one then input the MAC address of the router one select enable and this is the uh, MAC address of the router one and same thing in the router 2 you have to change the MAC address and after that apply settings then wireless advanced settings if you experience experiencing some problem you can change on this area but if you're not expert in wireless do not do not touch this area.